Hello everyone, today, I would like to introduce the application of Web API functions on Highwell devices. When the third-party platform system needs to conduct data interaction with the Highwell SmartLink terminal device, it can choose to use the Web API functions to achieve it. First, open SCADA software, create a new project, setting the runtime platform and project properties. In this example, A7 Pro is used. Next, add devices and variables as needed. This example uses internal variables. Add a bool type variable and an integer variable. Click on the main display. Add primitives based on the variable data type. Add a bit switch and a numeric input or display. And binding variables. In the project browser on the left, click Data Reporting Server, Selected Server. The server selects the Web API. If the data needs to be reported to the server, enter the API reporting path. Randomly generate the private key of the Web API. This private key is used in the API call. Click Data Group in the left project browser. Select Add a Data Group. Enter a group name. Select Remote Report. Select the Web API. Set the group identifier. The encrypted report and API subpath can be configured as required. For the recording mode, set to push once every one second. Add channels and binding variables. Configure the channel identifier. Select Ebel Remote Write and click OK. Here, we need to pay attention to the Web API private key. Group identifier, channel identifier. These are used in subsequent configurations. Once configured, we can download the project to the device. Click Device Management Tool, enter the IP of the device and click download. After the project is saved and compiled, it can be downloaded. This example will show the data interaction with the device using an internet interface first. In the internet environment, to read or write the value of the device, we need to interact through the Highwell Cloud server, so we need to call the Highwell Cloud interface. For security reasons, interfaces are forced to use the HTTPS security protocol. Then, open Highwell Enterprise Platform and click on Cloud Data Center. Select Create Application. Define the application name and enable data reporting. Click OK. Click the Add Device to add the device that needs to use the Web API functionality to the project. Click the device center, choose the device list, and select the corresponding device access project. We can manipulate the project and give a value to the variable. Next, we can test the API with the interface testing tool. This example uses the API posting tool. Click to create a new interface. Select the posting mode. About the interface, we can find the corresponding interface on the Highwell official website. This example will show the data interaction with the device using an internet interface first. Use API interface to read device data through internet. The API sets the application JSON format. Fill in the parameters in the body. Tips. This format can be copied from the Highwell website and modified. Modify Highwell Cloud Account Information. For the Machina Code and Private Key, we can replicate it in a cloud data center. Copy the PN code of the device and fill in the Private Key Machine Code parameter and copy the corresponding project private key. Also fill in the parameters. For the Web API key, we can copy it in SCADA. 
Click Data Reporting Severed. Copy and enter the corresponding web API key parameters. Set group tag data, group identifiers, and tag channel identifier parameters. After filling in the parameters, click Send. The real-time response area will return the corresponding channel identifier and data value, and the corresponding error message if there is a problem. As you can see, the device data read by the API is consistent with the device, and the read is successful. Use API interface to write data information to the device through the internet. Fill in the corresponding parameters and write values. Click Send. The real-time response returns the right success flag. As you can see, the device screen also matches the values written by the API. Use API interface to write data to the primary path through the internet. Fill in the corresponding parameters and the main path to be switched. And click Send. Real-time response returns. Write success identifier 1 and the main path after switching. Use API interface to obtain the primary path for reporting data through the internet. After filling in the corresponding parameters, click Send. The real-time response returns to obtain the success identifier 1 and the main path. If the internal system of the enterprise needs to exchange data with the device, you can use the LAN interface call mode. In the LAN mode, the HTTP channel is used. For security, the data needs to be encrypted and the requested validity verified. In this example, a third-party online SSL tool is used to encrypt parameters. Before encryption, you need to set the encryption mode character, that is, using the UTF-8. And the password is the web API key in SCADA. Open SCADA and copy the API private key. Enter the password. The offset is ABC123456789 OEFG. The mode is CBC. Fill select PKCS5 padding. Encoding select hex. After the encryption mode is configured, you can enter parameters in the corresponding content areas for encryption. For the time in the parameters, we can use the API interface of the LAN to obtain the device time. Change the API address to the device LAN IP address. Click Send, and the real-time response returns a timestamp. Copy the timestamp, fill in the parameters and use its time verification. Use API interface to read device data through LAN. Open the encryption tool. Encrypt the corresponding parameters. And copy them to the API post. Click Send. The real-time response returns the corresponding device variable data. You can see that the data is consistent with the API. Use API interface to write device data through LAN. Use an encryption tool to encrypt parameters. Copy to the API post. Click Send. The real-time response returns a sign that the writing was successful. Open the device screen. You can see the same as the API written values. Use API interface to write the primary path for reporting data through the LAN. Open the encryption tool to encrypt. Fill in the parameters for switching the main path. and copy to body. Click Send. The real-time response returns the switch success flag 1 and the main path after the switch. Use API interface to obtain the primary path of the reporting server through LAN.
Open the encryption tool to encrypt. Modify corresponding parameters. And copy them. Fill them in the body. And click send. The real-time response returns the acquisition success flag 1 and the main path of the acquisition. This is the configuration of the web API applied to the Highwell device. Thanks for watching. Highwell leading the new era of IIoT.